The biggest lead in the ball game has been five for Kentucky, and that'll be a pushing foul inside on Brady. That'll be Jonathan Davis, excuse me, in the 33. Good call by the officials. Marking and trying to post up low that time. Got a little bit of help from Jonathan Davis. You might be able to see it again here. As, take a look. Here's Marking and coming across. Yeah. I didn't do it. He was helping him to the basketball. That's the call. <laughs> Pritchard goes into a stumbling Terry Brown as he was tripped up inside. 13 15 bullet pass from Pritchard to Markinen. Pekka Markinen has eight points in the ball game. He's four for four. Kevin Pritchard with his second assist of the ball game. Belfry fouled by West. Freeman did not have good position that time as he went for the block. But Pelfrey did a good job of cutting to the basket as Roy Williams is going to check some people back in and take a look at it again. Good bounce speed inside and Freeman West was out of position to try and make the play defensively. Rick Calloway checks back in along with Mark Randall in favor of Freeman West and um, I believe uh, Mike Maddox also said look along the bench KU five points coming from that squad after turnovers Kansas 11 points compared to just two for Kentucky Cal free a 72 percent free throw shooter four points now on the afternoon a six seven sophomore you mentioned earlier Bob this Kentucky team just eight players on scholarship Tied at 23. Jayhawks' Mac biggest lead, excuse me, Bob, has been at three. Kentucky's biggest lead at five on the afternoon. Interesting matchup there as Derek Miller was guarding Kevin Pritchard. Sean Woods reached in and slapped the ball away from Terry Brown. Got some of his arm, too. That'll be the sixth team foul against Kentucky. There's a look along the Kentucky bench. Jayhawks inbound. Calloway, Randall, Markinen, Kevin Pritchard with the basketball, and Terry Brown in the ball game. Oh, Mark Randall is being held in the lane. Brown and around for three. Markinen pushed out of bounds. A foul. Looks as though it'll go against Sean Woods. And that'll be two quick ones on the 6'2 sophomore. Take a look at it again. And reaching in, Woods picks up the personal foul. Kansas with four offensive boards in this ball game. Kentucky has zero. Farmer checks in for Woods. Farmer, a six-foot sophomore, as Pekka Markinen goes to the line for the Jayhawks, who are now in the bonus. Markinen, a chance to go to double figures early on here. Well, Kentucky's not very big, but they are physical out there. I was going to say it is. The Jayhawks seemingly have run into physical opponents in the last couple three outings. Markin already looking for double figures. He can't get it. He'll settle for nine. But Terry Brown gets a loose ball rebound. Pitcher looked like he was thinking for three. Markin now on the dribble. Randall, good feed inside to Pekka. Well, has this guy come of age since his first game? He had a good trip to Dallas. Farmer rejected by Pritchett. I call a late foul on Kevin. And now Roy is a little miffed down there. We'll take a look at it again. In the lane, Kevin Pritchett thought he got all ball. Really never even left his feet. Kind of a late whistle on the part of the official as well. And Pritchard with his second personal foul will retire to the boards for a while as Adonis Jordan checks in for Roy Williams. Richie Farmer's first miss on the season. He was 10 for 10. Until that miss. Kansas leading by three, 26-23, 12-07 line. Farmer cuts that lead to two. Terry Brown has Callaway in front. 
And now gets it to Adonis as Kentucky has picked up the defense way out front. Callaway looks to go inside. Randall mismatch. And got it. And they go to the strike. Now Kansas is patient. Kentucky cannot stop that. They don't have the horses inside to stop Pekka Markin and Mark Randall. First basket of the afternoon for Mark Randall. Foul on Jeff Brasso. I watch it again. Randall gets the ball in low and takes one dribble and one step and has the layup and a chance for a three-point play. Randall with four inches on Brasso. I knew he had the mismatch and took it in. KU 8 of 14 shooting inside the paint. That's why uh, Rick Pitino extends the defense. He does not like to let Kansas go down and set up in that half court because he knows he can't match up man for man. Randall with four points. Inbounds pass. Lost away. Stolen away by Jordan. Calloway open inside momentarily. Good strip. Pelfrey quick hands. Farmer up. Drops it to Pelfrey. Long range three. That's a second basket for John Pelfrey. Two three-pointers in Rick Patino's club shooting now. 80% on the afternoon. Four or five from three-point range. Calloway leans in and he gets the foul. That was interesting on the Kentucky transition basket. They had a two-on-one break, penetrated into the paint, then kicked it back outside for the three-point play. And you'll see Kentucky do that because the three-point play is such a big weapon in their arsenal. Here's Kansas trip down the floor as Rick Calloway gets fouled a moment ago. Arkenden moves into the on-deck spot for Kansas. Derek Miller, who has been out, will check back into the ball game. He's got three buckets on three-pointers. And it's 29-27, Kansas. Derek Miller might have as good a range as any athlete we've seen in a long time. He's a 41% shooter on the season, 35% from three-point land in, uh, in the season, 85% three-throw shooter. Kansas, six of eight from the free-throw stripe, thus far in the ballgame. Hawks looking for the biggest lead which has been at five, now at four. Pelfrey breaks the backcourt pressure. It's a three on one. Miller goes for three. Well, again, there you have the classic example of a two on one break situation. Get the ball in the paint and kick it back outside for the three point shot. There's Rick Patino talking to his bench. Well, he got the technical foul and the calls have pretty much gone his way since. Well, there's uh, really some psychology behind getting the technical foul. And what you call working the officials. Larry Brown was uh, a master at doing that very thing. Still 11 minutes to play here in the first half. It's 32-30 Kansas leading Kentucky. Adonis picks up his first two points of the afternoon. Farmer swings it to Miller. He'll gun from there. Davis with the follow-up on go. Gets his own rebound. Back up over Randall. He takes it away. Outlet to Jordan. Adonis wanted to go instead to Callaway. Kansas with a secondary break basket that time. You don't have the transition basket first down. Take it down to the baseline. Pull it back out. Pelfrey. And he lost it. And he wanted to call it. It was knocked away. Patino's ready to take somebody's heart out over there. No call a charging violation against Adonis Jordan. Four turnovers in the ball game now against the Jayhawks. The Wildcats of Kentucky with eight mechanical mistakes. Hawks enjoying their biggest lead of the afternoon at five. That matches Kentucky's biggest advantage. Feldhouse runs over Randall. We'll call it on Mark. We'll have to take another look at that one. Well, it looked like Randall was set for about a month in the land. That was close. Well, the picture says it all. 